Okay, in this tutorial, we're going to take a look at envelope weights a little bit more and let's see how they influence this relative to weight painting. Okay, so one of the common ways to work, this, this armature in here, if I press G, is not attached yet in here. So let's assign this. So the common way to assign things is you select both of them like that, press Control P, and use automatic weights. Well, let's see what that actually does. So if I get the cylinder and then I go into control, weight paint with Control Tab, then you can see the assignment of here of the weights for each one of the bones but you wonder where that came from well that's because here in this tab what's happened it actually added vertex groups for each of these bones all right so if i go get this bone that's the weight associated with that bone that's the weight with bone one didn't assign any values to bone one there's bone two and there's bone three so it has some kind of algorithm for deciding how it wants to assign the weight based on well, I don't know what it's actually based on. <laughs> I don't know the actual algorithm. But but it, it has assigned these weights. So you can change the influence of these in weight paint mode. You can press T and you can get weight paint mode. So this is bone 3, which is this last one up here. So I might want to subtract this out of here. And I just erase this. got to get around the vertices. And you've got to do both sides if you want to do this. Cause it's like that. So I've erased it through there. Or actually, you could probably just do it like this. Where is that thing? Limit selection to the visible. So I could probably paint on here. In fact, we better verify that. Add. See if we can add that back on both sides. Yeah, you can. It works the same way as when you're in edit mode with selecting things too. So I basically painted on both sides like this. And essentially what I've done, I've reassigned the values like that. And that's because of automatic, automatic weights. Well, let's just get rid of a couple of these. Let's take get rid of bone 3 and bone 4 get rid of those vertex groups so they essentially have no values associated with them whatsoever right there's bone 1 and there's nothing and nothing in here so but maybe instead of just painting on it sometimes I, I want to paint differently I want to assign the values sometimes I do it numerically get the object and go into weight paint mode control tab sometimes I, I mean not into weight paint mode just into edit mode and within here Sometimes I would just want to assign things in here. I'll go into vertex mode. I'll look at the back side as well. B. I'll grab those there. And since that's bone 3, maybe I'll just make it my own group and I'll call it bone.003.003 like that. And I'm going to assign it a weight of 0.7. And then I have to assign it like this. Okay, so then when I do that, I leave edit mode, control tab. There I have assigned new values to the bone numerically all right so you can either paint on them or go numerically let's do another one here let's do this one here but this one here let's do it with envelope weights in fact we're going to change it all up here so i want to go out of t here i'll just go into edit mode of the bow well let me just no hang on hang on let me let me leave the cylinder and oops i want to leave weight paint mode and I want to go get this. I have the armature now. So now I have my armature menus. And just what I mentioned from the previous tutorial, it comes up in the octahedral mode, but I'm going to change it over to envelope mode. And we can see the influence of this. So what we're going to do is we're going to change the influence of these bones, and then we're going to reassign the weights. Okay, so now in this case, I'm just going to take this, and I come down here. Remember, you come over here to this menu here under deform, and I'm going to change that distance way down like that. And come up here maybe change this distance way up like that and then these guys I'll change it I'll drop that down and I'll drop that down here so now this is that this guy has a huge amount of influence on him like that for that particular bone and so what I can do though is then I'll go get the object and I'm just going to Alt P and clear the parent so it's no longer connected to this thing anymore. If I press G, you can see it's disconnected. Now I'm going to reparent it. So Shift select this and Control P, but then I'm going to do it with the envelope weights. All right. So now there they are. It should be able to move it here now. Yep, there it does. But you can see where the influence is based on that envelope setting. That's why this bone is not moving right here, right? That moves there like that, but that's not going to move with that envelope weight set like this. So then you can come in and verify this on screw the object control tab into here. And then you can see the influence 
like that that's set based on the envelope weight in here. And of course, if you don't like that weight, you can just always modify it, weight paint or numerically. But so that's another way to set it. So sometimes I do that. Sometimes I use empty weights and I just assign my own values directly. So it just kind of depends. A lot of that's just practice and building your models. You know, you build lots and lots of models and do lots of armatures and eventually you come up with your own ways the way you want to make things work. Okay, well that's it for this lesson and I'll see you in the next lesson.